Alright guys, here's a recap. JP and Louie flew a Cessna 210 around the world in 80 days. They just got back and now it's time to say goodbye to their trusty airplane, Baloo. Baloo is being sold in Oklahoma, so JP and I flew her there over a span of a few days. In the first video, which you can watch on my channel, I had my first experience wearing oxygen and JP told me what to do if he falls unconscious. We saw some weather up ahead, so we decided to stop in Vegas, where Baloo hit the worst turbulence that she's probably ever been in, and then we thankfully landed safely. Alright, it's the next morning. It's freezing here in Vegas. We're gonna carry on to Santa Fe, refuel, grab some oxygen, and then See how far we can get. I want to get to Tulsa today, but I don't know how, how that's going to go. So, that's the plan. Temperature 1 1, 2 point minus 4, altimeter 3 0 1 6. Doors closed, you're secure. Huh? And 2 1 0, get a full map. Uh, Juliet, ready to go. 2 1 0, Echo Uniform, North Las Vegas Tower, from 3 0 left, clear for takeoff. Alright, you ready? Yep, ready. Let's go fly. Maintain VFR at below 5,500. VFR at below 5,500, there we go. Well, then we're climbing at 5,500. We're out of here. Yep. We're off like a prom dress. Ew. <laughs> okay. Alright, let's go boogie up at 9,500. <laughs> You farted. No, I didn't. Yes, you did. No, I didn't. I wonder what lake this is. Lake Mead? Which one? That's the Hoover Dam. Yeah, but it's not Hoover Lake. It's a different lake. Well, I can tell you. Um, lake Mead, yeah. Ah. flying right next to the Grand Canyon and there's a no-fly zone, which is in the blue, and we're going to hug it the whole way, baby. We're rebels. You're so weird. <laughs> it's so pretty. All right, so we're uh, we're coming up to probably one of my favorite places on Earth. This place is so beautiful, but it also carries a lot of devastation with it when it was created. This man-made Lake Powell. But anyway, it, it, it exists now, and we may as well make the best of it. So, yeah, we're going to fly straight over it, do some circles and stuff. Because that's what we do in airplanes, is do circles. We're doing loops. Loops. Got the whole day to fly, so nothing's stopping us to do whatever we want. Pretty, pretty cool feeling. ever seen horseshoe bend from this angle? Woo! <laughs> That's a pretty cool shot.
I'll open up the door and get a foot picture dangling over at Horseshoe. The first minute you said that, I was like, no, don't open the door. And then I was like, oh, I'm <laughs> fresh, she's not. That was cool, babe. Yeah, that was fun. Sorry, I keep positioning stuff on my side. I'm selfish, but... <laughs> You deserve to have this stuff on your side. This is your last full day of flying in this plane. So the world's giving you a pretty sight. We're gonna go over Monument Valley as well, I think. Oh, cool. You can see it in the distance there. To the right, just behind this mountain. Yeah, yeah. They must have got a good amount of weather last night because I keep catching like glimpses of the sun reflecting water all over the place. Yep. What are you doing, autopilot? This is what it did over the ocean. And I had to give up on it. Fucker. Just turn it off. Yeah, I need a head fly now. There were some issues with the autopilot, so JP turned that off and he actually let me fly the plane for about an hour and a half. You can fly the plane if you want. The vertical speed is the speed at which you're going up or down. How, it, how much you're climbing or descending? Yeah, and it's at a rate, so you're climbing at a rate of 100 feet a minute, 200 feet a minute. This instrument here is the rate meter. So the goal is to keep it zero, obviously, but usually it's going to be really hard to keep it zero. So usually you want to keep it within 100 up or down. And then obviously when it keeps wanting to go up, then you trim it a little bit nose down and then it's going to stop. So the, the, the key is to always maintain the right attitude of an airplane. As long as the attitude's fine, the wind over the wing is going to be the same, which means you're not going to stall. You're always going to have a good indicated airspeed. So an airplane works as a trend. If it's going down and it stops, it's going to go back up. The moment it levels, already put a little bit of forward pressure on because you can pretty much predict it's going to go up again. It's only when you have it perfectly trimmed that it's going to stay exactly the same. So you can practice if you want. We've got a long flight still. I can't handle how good you're doing. <laughs> Gotta hang of the altitude thing very quickly. Thanks. Killing it, babe. They're doing really, really well. I think you'd pick up flying pretty easily. See some, uh, looks like a flight of three up above us, about 8,000 feet. They're up in the higher stratum. It's a flight, so I think it's a flight of three uh, B2s. Oh, oh B2 you. bombers. No way. Up in the stratosphere, so there's 70,000 feet. What? So the 15, 40. That's pretty cool. B2 bombers. That is super cool. All right, so Lindsay's been hand flying for a while. The autopilot's been a bit weird. Um, she's been killing it, and I'm gonna get her to do the descent into Santa Fe, and uh, probably do the approach as well. No worries at all. My hair on your speaker. That's not a speaker, it's a microphone. <laughs> you know what I meant. We're not too close to these mountains. No, we're fine. That's a perfect heading right there. Yeah, it's pretty bumpy. It's not the easiest conditions, but... What I like what you're doing is you're not fighting the turbulence, you're letting the plane do its thing, and then just... Because an airplane will almost always correct itself. It's uh -huh. only very severe bumps that it doesn't. Where is the city? <laughs> it's actually over there. I got way too excited. I thought it was over there. <laughs> so pull back a little bit. A little bit, a little bit. And when I put the gear down, you're going to feel the airplane want to go down. And you're just going to have to pull back to make sure that doesn't happen. All right? 
You ready? Okay. Gear is coming down. How much do I have to pull? You'll feel it. Four zero or four one contact Albuquerque Center one two four point three two or uh, two eight eight point two five. Now the airplane has changed its shape basically, so now it's going to want to pull down all the time. So then you trim it up a little bit more and alleviate some of that pressure for you. Hey, so, three zero one six. Green lights. Can you check on your side whether you have the wheels out? Yeah, I do. So that's taken care of now. We don't need to worry about that. And the same thing's going to happen when we put in flaps. Because uh -huh. the nose is going to want to pitch down, so you're going to want to work it, you know, the opposite opposite direction. This is quite a physical airplane to fly. requires some strength when you change, you know, the aerodynamics, like bring out gear or whatever, because it's quite fast. So, so we do want to scoot just a little bit to the right here, because we want to do a five-mile final. Going around. Roger, your uh, light board traffic. Level it out. Nose down a little. And that's perfect right there. Just keep it there. There's a Rockwell uniform. Let's uh, change that up. Let's go ahead and bring you uh, straight to the numbers. You're going to be number two following a light sport that's uh, starting their base turn now for off the right downwind for uh, runway 33. Copy that, we'll, we'll go straight in and keep a look out for the traffic number two as they come from. You want to fly now? Just slow down. No, you still fly. I'm just helping you out because I do want to stay on top of the airplane because it's quite fast. So we're going to put in some flaps here. So you're going to feel the nose pitch up. So I have to push down? Push down. And then it's going to slow right down. There's a Echo Uniform traffic. Your phone is now mild, mile to two mile final. Copy that, we're about five miles now. Uh, don't have a visual yet. They're on 3-3, three, three, are they? Hey, Permit, to bring it straight to the numbers for runway 3-3. Three, three. Number two, runway 3-3, three, three, clear to land. Your uh, light sport traffic's a uh, mile final now. Copy that, clear to land, 3-3, three, three, zero control. I do not have that traffic. Uh, zero, can you just confirm that light sport traffic is on a final for 3-3 three, three or another runway? On 3-3, three, three, actually they're now over the numbers of runway 3-3. Three, three. Uh, copy that, cool. We'll proceed. Zero, can you Okay, cool. They're ahead of us. So you're flying it down. Okay, I'm going to just fly because uh, yeah. we need to keep it tight here. I'll hold this.